Two Ways to Laugh by Susan Coolidge I say she loves me well, and I believe it in my hands to make Omar his life lies utterly, nor can I with strong plea deny, which claims my love for his love's sake. He says there is no face so far as mine, when I draw near, his eyes light up, each ripple of my hair he laughs, a very clunk I worry touches fondly where it lies, and roses, roses all the way upon my path fall, strewed by him, as tenderness by night, by day, keeps faithful watch to heap all way my cup of pleasure to the brim. The other woman, full of spite, count me the happiest woman born to be so worshipped. I delight to flaunt this homage in the sight, for me the rose for whim its fruit. I laugh the more I think I do, sure one must laugh what is so sweet. He is all tender and all true, all eloquent to plead and sue, all strength, or kneeling at my feet. Yet I had visions, once of your girlish imaginings of its zest, a possible thrill. But why run over with fancies? Idle dreams no more, I will forget them, this is best. So let him take the past this past, the future with its golden key, into his outstretched hands I cast. I shall laugh him, perhaps at last, as now I laugh his laugh for me. Nor has all other woman may laugh I may laugh. He is so great, so beautiful, I dare say, no nearless but in silence lay, a heart upon his path and wait. Poor heart, its healings are so low, he does not heed them passing by, save as one heats the violets grow, a fragrance crying not to know the way purple buds may lie. I sometimes think that it is dead, it lies so still, abandoned lean like mother of a cradle head. Wondering if still faint breaths are shed like sighs for parting lips between. And when, the vivid pulse and thrill, it quickens into sudden bliss at sound or step or voice, nor will be hushed, although, regardless still, he knows not, cares not, it is his. I would not lift it if I could. The little flame, though faint and dim as glow warm spark and lonely wood, shining where no man calls it good, may one day light the path for him. May guide his way, or soon or late, for blinding blister, wintry rain, and, so content, I watch and wait. Let ever share his happier fate, I only ask to share his pain. And if some day, when passing by, my dear love, should the steps arrest, should mark the poor heart waiting nigh, should know it his, should lift it, why, patience is good, but joy is best.